planning on doing your HGV license? Or maybe you've just passed your heavy goods test. Maybe you're a little bit unsure of how to secure a load. Unsure of working time? Driver's hours? Or maybe you're unsure how to hitch up to a trailer. If you're unsure of any of these, then why not check out the all new revamp for 2023-24 essential new trucker's handbook. It even gives you advice for passing your LGV driving test through to your, from your medical, uh, through to your theory test, gives you all the questions on your theory test. Even if you've been driving for years, trust me, this book will update your existing skills. It's the essential new trucker's handbook by Malcolm Green. Links in the description. Check it out. Enjoy it. Enjoy the video, guys. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Hope everyone is well this week. Uh, you join me the next day from the last video, as usual. Um, I'm just about coming into uh, Bickensveld in Belgium, uh, which is where my second drop is. And I'm going to try and find the place. As you can see, got some lovely roads here. <laughs> the road itself, sorry, it's just not that wide. Uh, last night, well, yesterday afternoon, uh, I had a couple of hours kip. I got up, um, edited the vlog that was out on Wednesday, uh, had some food, spoke to Claire, and then went back to bed. So all in all, probably had about 13 hours sleep, I would say. So I'm well rested. Needed it. I know that. Yeah, it took me um, a little bit to sort of work out where I'm exactly I'm going this morning because it's um, it's got sort of two business names on it um, and right where I'm going there the, there's the two but one's a supermarket and I can't see me delivering to a supermarket somehow so uh, but I had a look on Google and it um, where I'm going is part of the group of the supermarket, so hopefully I'm going to the right place. <clears throat> Fingers crossed. Better be here now. And it's um, it's not raining. It's just got that slight drizzle in the air. It's horrible. What have I got? 0.6 miles to go. So 600 yards. I got to turn left. After 300 yards, turn left, then you have reached your destination. Uh, this must be it, yeah. Turn left, then you have reached your destination. Uh, there it 
this. That's what I'm after. Figure out how to get in there now. Holly Root. Uh, is he queuing or is he parked up? I don't know. I can't see. On. After 100 yards, you have reached your destination. Paperwork. <sighs> do, 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 do. That's the one I want. Up there. Right. Two ticks will be back now. Okay, so I'm in the right place, but I'm gonna go left and left again down the bottom. So, ugh. One thing I have noticed in Belgium, a lot of people speak very good English. that one is it it's just a car park and that gate is hmm It's open then. 108, 109, I think he said. Uh, one 
way. Uh, one way system. So looks like I'm going to have to go all the way around. Because I've got a feeling it's around that side here because the bays are going up there. This is fun. Better go and see if I can find someone then. 108 and 109 have got trailers on uh, with no units. So this should be fun. Let's see if I can find someone around you. <laughs> right, let's go see if I can get this sorted. Soon a bit. Toodles. Hello. Alright, I'm all done here. I've just got to figure out how to get out of here now. I don't know whether it's the same gate as I came in. <clears throat> or whether there's an out gate. Turn Looks left. like there's an out gate. Then at the end of the road, turn right. Yeah. Right, got a bit of a change of plan. Still going to our Dewey, but I'm going back to Lonheim where I uh, tipped yesterday. Uh, picking up a load of empty trays and then taking them up to our dewey. Right. How close you gotta get? Not opening. I might have to go and press the gate. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Opening them. Happy days. There we are. Then we're out. Yeah, so I'm going to go back over the lawn hind now. out as wide as I can. Bit of an awkward out that is. There we 
yeah. We're out. And uh, pick up some empty trees and take them up to Ardui and then uh, collect my load then for delivery back to the UK tomorrow. So it's all good fun. All good fun. Keep me going, that's a dead set. I'm going to keep this clip a little bit uh, shorter because uh, I need to give Claire the ring as well because she just tried the ringing me. The road, turn right. but, uh, I was in the middle of a conversation with Toby. So, there we go. Right then, let's crack on. I'll speak to you um, just before I get to uh, Lonheim and then uh, we'll go from there. See how he gets on. Turn right. See you in a bit, guys. Toodles. Seven minutes away now from uh, the place in Liege, or Liege, or however they pronounce it. Let's uh, see if the traffic's going to be any better today. As, uh, as you'd have seen on the last video, it was absolute nightmare, yeah? So far, so good. It does say that there's. Uh, Files prudence or prudence ralentir. Cues possible ahead, I should imagine, something like that. Sure, that's what that means. Um, with the new camera as well, I uh, was quite happy with uh, the audio and everything else of it. Um, I've had to use a different system. Same, um, still using the Rode wireless mics, uh, but I'm still trying to get the setup right on it. Um, I've got the mics on mid, because you've got low, mid and high for volume, for, you know, for sound. And I had the camera on, I think it was on 75. So it was, it was peaking out every now and again. Um, so I've turned it down a little bit by 10, I've turned it down to 65, so I'm hoping now that it's not too bad. It's still, there's like a, a gauge on the top and uh, it still looks like it's quite possibly peaking out. Um, but it was doing that on the last one as well and it, the sound didn't sound too bad to be honest. Yeah, I think yesterday's traffic was just the time of day. All this was rammed yesterday. After 200 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the This is what I wanted yesterday. Ooh, I wouldn't have gone over by three minutes then. Never mind. I can't get over how light the steering is on this. Where are you going? There we are. 
I don't know how long it's going to take me to get up to Ardui from here. I'll have to have a look when I get in here. So it'll be a bay load, I should imagine. Um, so we just have to wait and see. Don't think it's too far. After 800 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the first exit, N642. Yeah, a bit of a difference compared to yesterday. It was all backed up along there. And coming up to this right-hand turn now, it was all backed up there. Oop. That was me vape. Roundabout and take the first exit N642. So it's going to cost me another one euro fifty to get in there. Huh. Well, at least I know where it is this time. Shut my cupboard door properly where the microwave is. It's just opened. It doesn't look the best of areas around here, does it? Let's be fair. Yeah. Roads aren't the best either. Cool, blimey. So hopefully, Fingers crossed now, see how long it's going to take me to get up to our Dewey. As long as the load is ready. And I should be back in the UK tonight. I'm wondering whether the book a space in Ashford. If I don't get there, I can always cancel it. It might be worth it. So I presume I'm still picking up the same load for tomorrow. That's going up to Birmingham. I might book a space for Ashford just in case. I've got plenty of time. Just coming up to three hours driving now. So. Uh, Dewey's, I don't know, about an hour and a half away, maybe. That'll be just over four and a half hours. I know it's an hour and 40 minutes from our Dewey to the, uh, to the train. After 200 yards, turn right, then so you have reached your destination. Nearly six hours then. So, yeah, I'll have plenty of time. Because Ashford is only a couple of, uh, well, about 20 minutes from the train. So... It's always booked to get into Ashford. It's always good to book to get into Ashford. Otherwise, if you get there a bit late, you've got no chance of getting in there. Turn right, then you have reached your destination. Well, I haven't, but it's not far. Have reached your destination. Bumpy, bumpy. Way down the 
bomb. Can I go around that bit there? Maybe. Yeah, I think I can actually. Because I went right down the bottom and turned around last time. If it's in there, I want. I do yesterday, if you can remember. Ticket non disposable. Ugh. No ticket available. Typical. trees there so I'm wondering if it's going to be up through the back door with a pallet truck maybe. We'll have a look in a minute. Hop down and see him. A little trees here. So is there something like that that I'm picking up? All right then, let's go have a chat with them, see where they want me, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, I'll see you in a bit, guys. Toodles. Radio. As you can tell, I'm being loaded. Um, <clears throat> just done um, a check to see how far away uh, Dewey is from here. It's three hours. So that might change. I think I'll uh, put you over there. Look, I can see him. Picking up the, uh, turn that all the way back around now. I loosened it off so I could show you. Uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> we get a bit dizzy there. Um, and he's picking the empties up from there and putting them on mute on the back of me. So that's all good. Literally been here five minutes. Simple as that. <laughs> so I'm not going to be here long by the look of it. Um, yeah, three hours up to our Dewey. So. just over three hours wasn't it three hours and six minutes driving so that'll take me six hours and three minutes so I could possibly yeah I could still do Ashford tonight so it looks like it's gonna be it is gonna be Ashford at some point so I think I'll book myself in there in a minute I'll go on the website and book myself a space Let's plug my phone back in. It's on ninety six percent anyway. It's all good. Um, so yeah, just a case now of finish getting loaded, and then uh, head on up to our Dewey. I have to have a break on the way up. I got it on break now. Um, make myself a cup up. Have a fifteen on here, and I'll have a half hour on the way up. Then just a fifteen covers my working time. So it started at quarter six this morning, um, and it's now, well, it's coming up to 12 o'clock. It was quarter six UK time, so quarter seven uh, French time. Um, so I've got just, well, I've got 45 minutes before I needed a working time break, so. Put it on break now, I'll have a 15, and then I'll have a half hour up the road somewhere. Another hour and a half, hour and 24 minutes. I'll pull over for a break then. Um, and then crack on over to our Dewey, drop and swap, drop this one off, pick up the loaded one, and then head back for the train. 
and then uh, hopefully be in Ashford tonight. It's still relatively early enough. I should be able to book a space for this evening. So I'll do that and then uh, I will come back to you when I'm leaving here and uh, see what happens from there then. So I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Doodles. busy. Um, got Brussels Airport just over there. Um, just thought I'd put the cameras back on for two minutes. So show you the traffic down this way. Literally got to have eyes in the back of your head. They just jump in and out from anywhere. And they don't care how close they are to either nuts all the learning curve though <laughs> oh dear 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 anyway put myself into our Dewey no I'm going to our Dewey I put myself into Ashford um, so the trail apparently is ready for me in our Dewey so I'm going to hang about there oh, anybody over here come um, so yeah the trail is ready for me there so basically I'm just going to drop this one off pick the other one up hopefully the paperwork will be in the back either that or I'm going to go around the office and pick the paperwork up um, and then crack on over to the, um, the Euro Tunnel for the train and then park up in Ashford tonight uh, I'm not sure what time the delivery is tomorrow I'll find that out obviously when I get my paperwork and it's typical now now the cameras are on it's all clearing up <laughs> um, uh, look at that for a viaduct not bad is it you got quite a few of those over here. <laughs> but I do love driving out here. Even though you get people just jumping in front of you. <laughs> it's great. I love it out here. I really do. I'm so glad I made the move. I really am. And I've asked the question about uh, getting all the, the paneling done and everything else, so I haven't heard anything yet, but I've asked them about the, uh, getting the bumper repaired and the two panels that they paint and get them painted. See what happens. Because I definitely want to keep this without the shadow of a doubt. It's just exactly what I need. All round comfort powerful uh, yeah the bunk is super comfy I love the bunk it's really really comfortable uh, head into the pillow on there and I'm gone out for the count so much so I don't want to get out of it in the morning <laughs> uh, but there we are is what it is you can see the traffic building up on the other side now look 
Uh, I'm still an hour and 25 minutes away from Adui yet, so I've still got a way to go. Uh, but I'm due to get there for half past three. Because um, uh, when I was on the bay, obviously, I said I had on for 15. By the time they finished loading me, I was on 35 minutes, so I thought, stay here for another 10 minutes. I've uh, finished my 45, clear my driving, and I can head straight over to Ardui. I'm probably going to need another break before I get to the train, because it's a three hour run over, and it's, it's about an hour and 20, hour and 30, something like that. I know at the, uh, the sat nav says it's an hour and 50, but it's not that long. Um, it's about an hour and 20, hour and 30 minutes. From our Dewey over to the uh, to the train, um, but I think I'm probably going to need a break. So what I'll probably do is once I've swapped over, I'll have another break in our Dewey rather than stopping out on the road uh, for obvious reasons, and uh, and just do our Dewey to the train in one hit, save me stopping. <coughs> and I've lost my bulwark. Don't know where it's gone. I know I had it for the uh, the trip I did at the end of last week, uh, going into Avonmouth. Uh, I remember taking it off, and I could have sworn I put it back in my side locker, but it's not there. Luckily, I've got padlocks, so I can padlock the doors up when I'm uh, when I'm heading over. But um, yeah, the, the bull lock was mine. I I bought that. And I don't know where it's gone. It disappeared. And no one else can use it because the keys for it are in you. So, strange. It's just disappeared. Unless I thought I put it in my locker and I didn't and I left it on the side. But who knows? Who knows? So I've ordered another one. I'm going to be arriving at home today. <laughs> but I won't get that now until I get home, which will probably be next week because it's my weekend out this weekend. Um, so, I just have to make do with a couple of padlocks for now. After 800 yards, take the exit to 7A8, in on team, then in left. Coming off to the next right now. This way. Take the exit to 7A8, then left. Jump enough on this one. After 600 yards, peak left. Keep left. Conflict now. No, they're not. That's correct. On to this one. It's right there. That's it. It's okay. They're both the same. That's good. <laughs> and trying the uh, the built-in sat nav again to see if, uh, if it does the same as that one. And it does give me traffic on there as well, which is good. After eight hours. How low these bridges are. And more traffic. <laughs> Superb. Well, that says one minute delay. That says five minute delay. So. Yeah. So we shall just see. All right. Point of sitting in this traffic wheel. Hold the bike. It's 
So let's crack on and I'll see you either in Ardui or just before I get to Ardui. One of the two anyway. I'll see you in a bit. Hello. Okay, you join me about an hour and a bit later. I am five minutes away from Ardui. Um, and as you can see, the weather has taken a turn for the worse. It's uh, not very nice out there at all now. Shocking, in fact. Wind's picked up, the rain's coming down. Yeah, gonna get wet. As the wife always says to me, you know what they say? Drips only get bigger. What can you say to that? Touch the brakes yet. <laughs> go. I got a feeling coming in from this way, I gotta turn left into Ardui into, into the customer. So that could be fun. Uh, got what? 2.1 miles. I gotta be honest, that's that now. It's completely different to that one. They wanted to take me off about. 10 miles earlier off the motorway compared to that one and then when it rerouted to match up with that one it rerouted but told me to come off in 23 miles instead of 12 which it was on there but then when I came off with that one that one rerouted and it's exactly the same so I don't know why it didn't bring me that way in the first place so I think I'm going to stick with my nav I'll keep trying it every now and again, see what it's like. Seems a bit strange coming in this way though. Normally I come up from the motorway towards the customer. But a bit different today, so I'm coming from the opposite direction. That I've only put the postcode in, that one. I've actually got our Dewey in there. Yeah. Turn left, then you have reached your destination. Yeah, there it is up over there on the left. Or you can see it, I can. I want the left lane. You have reached your destination.
and we are here. See if I can find me trailer now. Let's see where it is. And hopefully, paperwork's in. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to come up here and get the paperwork out of the office. be anyone else here. Might be, you never know. Forty-eight, I don't think. Another one of ours there. That's eighty-three. So hopefully, it's around here. No, that one's not loaded. Back doors are open on it. Hopefully, there's some of the park for you. 51, 61, 92, 48, no, 71, 74. Hmm, can't see my trailer anywhere. This one packed up. Sorry, I missed it. You can interrupt this help message and give a command by pressing the pause button on the steering wheel. To make a call, say things like, call John Smith, call John Smith work, or dial 02655188. To send a message, you can say things like, send a message to John Smith, or That's because I hit the button on as I was turning the steering wheel. <laughs> To launch a personal assistant on your connected phone, press and hold the voice button on the steering wheel. For help on how to use the voice command system, say Shush. voice tutorial. Right. Blimey. Let's try again. Say dial, then phone number or say call, then the full name and phone type you want to call. Stop. Hopefully that stopped it, huh? Please try again. <laughs> Let's try again. Say dial, then the phone number or say call, then the full name <laughs> and phone type you want to call. How do we shut it off? Quiet man. Calling voicemail off. Press the hang up button on the steering wheel to end the call. Oh, it's calling someone now. Right. Call him my voicemail then. Ah, okay, so I am here. Let's just double check my trailer number that I'm picking up. It says ah, it's DMS 048. Might be a different trailer then. 
Mm. Right, I'll have to go and have a look. See if I can find it. Right, let's get this sorted. And I will uh, see you when I'm leaving. Toodles. After one point, take Hello! Uh, Join me about an hour and a half later. Said it was about an hour and hour and thirty minutes. Sat nav was telling me it was two hours, but I've uh, been travelling now for an hour and thirty nine. So not far off. Just about to go into the tunnel now. Well, in towards the in towards the tunnel. Um, so I thought, well, put the cameras back on. Uh, found my trailer. It was the first one I saw, the, the one with eat more chips on the side of it. That was mine. I had a walk around and I had a look for it and then went in to use the facilities, as you do. I think that battery's looking a bit low as well. Yeah, it is. That battery might run out in a minute. I'll have to swap it over in a bit. Um, I'll just take you into the first bit with me. Before that runs out, and then uh, there we go from there. Then so you stay on the A16 for the tunnel La Mange. Forty-two A, forty-two B. Now, if you're a coach, car and caravan, or car, you stay in the left lane. All freight stays in the right. And then when you come around the bend then, you're going to go over to the right again. And this is the freight route in. That way is cars, caravans, bikes, all that sort of thing. So you follow this road all the way around. Nice and straightforward. Can't go wrong. Basically, you just follow all the green lights. You're going to make sure that you uh, go through the, the scanner. A lot of people sort of go round the wide way and then miss the scanner out and then they just got to come back and go back through the scanner because they got diverted through the scanner. Sometimes once you've gone through the scanner they'll take you into the sheds uh, just to do a, a secondary check so to speak. Um, but if you don't go into the sheds after going through the scanner you then go um, oh, down to the main gate where you present your GMR and your MRN and then uh, the dogs walk around the truck make sure that you've got uh, no unwanteds on Ooh. after 300 yards go straight on well, that was either a cat or a very large rat just ran across the road then i don't know what it was go straight on So you follow it round, follow it round, follow it round, as Ben would say. <laughs> Over into the right hand lane. A car behind me, it's unusual. Normally you get cars coming in this way. I've got to be honest, I'm very impressed with the battery life on these things. But I don't charge it up there anymore because I've got three batteries. I've got a battery case down there and they're all charging while the one's being used, the other two are being charged. So I've always got a battery. So as long as I don't run out now, <laughs> I will change it over when I get parked up in here. So as you come in, Around to your right, yep. That's the entrance to the truck village. As you can see in front there, got the green lights. 
just follow the green light. Five departures an hour at the moment, so hopefully it won't be too long. Now that area to the right there, that's where you go in to have your GMR and your MRN checked. But before you do that, you're gonna go through the scanner. Careful going around here, because it is very tight. Keep going around to your right, through the scanner, slow it down, 10 kilometers an hour, through the scanner, and the guy then in the cabin by there, either directs you, if he wants you in towards the sheds, he'll direct you in, if he doesn't, you just carry on straight down. Oh, lady I should say. Wait for these barriers to go up. The tell it's getting damp out there as the uh, old screen's misting up. Sorry about the camera there. There we go. I'm going now. Alright, uh, get my GRM, GMR I should say, up on the phone. Uh, that one there, that one there, and then paperwork, uh, my MRN, which is that one there. I have to put the aircon on, clear everything. So basically now, just wait, go through here. Once you've gone through here, you go down, you book in. Um, once you've booked in then, follow it round. Um, oh, here we go. Front ones are going. When these, when those barriers down the other end open, it's like wacky races. Who can get there first, just to book in. They'll go down, these ones will go up. And move forward. There you go. And you just wait now for someone to come around. They'll, uh, the dogs will have a walk around the trailer. Neutral, engine off, and make sure you turn the engine off. <coughs> Keep that up. Um, so yeah, and then just in, let's say next, the next stop then is uh, booking in. So I'll get my ticket then to, to get on board. Then I'll go down. <laughs> and that's the cloud. Here's the dogs. You can have a walk around now. I will give the wife a call back in a second, once I've done everything. Um, so yeah, it's um, book in, through passport control, and then 
uh, you get told uh, which lane to go in then to get the get your train. So before that runs out, um, yeah, I'm gonna end this clip and then uh, I'll put a new battery in for later. And uh, I'll probably speak to you now when I'm getting off the boat. Not off the boat, off the train. Why I said boat? I don't know. Uh, yeah, when I get off the train, I'll we'll, uh, I'll give you a shout. I'll see you in a bit. Toodles. Hello. Oh, what a nightmare last night. Absolute nightmare. Obviously, you saw me getting into um, uh, the channel tunnel. It's about quarter past six. I eventually got on a train at five to nine. <laughs> five to nine. It was an absolute nightmare. It took ages. Um, once I'd gone through um, the control, which showed, you know, I've got to put my GMR and my uh, MRN in and whatever else. Once I got through there, wow. Got down to the booking in section. And it was just queues galore. Queues galore. And there was delays um, with the trains. I don't know why it said it was five an hour, but they just kept holding us and holding us and holding us. Um, eventually got through the passport checks and everything else and then once I got up to the um, the gate that they tell you which lane to go in uh, they stopped us there and we were there for about another half hour 40 minutes um, so when I when I first got there they said I was probably gonna get on about the 20 past 8 train Now normally that goes down um, because they hadn't actually allocated me they just put on there that that's probably the, the next available one um, even if I got on the 20 past one I would have been fine uh, but I got on the uh, the five to five to nine train um, which got me back into the UK at uh, 20 to 9 UK time so obviously it was um, five to nine French time that we got on the uh, on the train and I only had until 25 to 9 Um, for a full 15 hour day so um, I knew this obviously when I got on the train so uh, it had to go on the ferry mode uh, so I was able to move off the train and come and park up um, obviously with the ferry mode you you can have uh, an hour's movement after your time but then you've got to have 11 off plus your time At that you've used road, turn left Arrowhead Road then Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, Waterbrook oh, Avenue. Big pothole by there. Um, left, then go uh, right so by the time the I got off the train, the I was exit. desperate for fuel. So I had to stop at stop 24 to get fuel. I'm all fueled up now, I've got a full tank. Uh, and then come up to Ashford, because I'd booked into Ashford to park up. And uh, yeah, eventually parked up at 25 past nine last night. So it was a little bit over, I'd used half an hour on the ferry mode, so I had to have 11 and a half off. After so it is now uh, right just after the nine o'clock. And take the second exit, Waterbrook Avenue, then turn right. Absolutely bonkers. Um, this booking's for, supposedly for 10 o'clock. Uh, I'm not gonna get there till almost one o'clock now. So. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Bit of a mare last night, to say the least. Even if I'd have got on the 20 past eight, that would have got me into the UK for just before nine o'clock, which would have given me, uh, just before eight o'clock, I should say, oh, UK time, um, and which would have given me, you know, 40 odd minutes uh, to get from Folkestone into stop 24, get fuel and then come back up. I would have done that no problem whatsoever. But no, not a chance. After 100 yards, turn Crazy. Right, A2070, Road. But there we are. I've let the office know. Um, they're all good with it. I told them roughly what time I'm going to get there. Turn um, right. At the end of the day, it is what it is. I can only do what I can do. So, 
Today's another day, as they say. So I'm just uh, coming out of Ashford, as you can see. We're on the walk round checks. Everything's a okay. That corner over there, that it grinds me every time I walk past it. So I'm hoping that um, Toby's going to get it sorted for me. I can cope with the non-painted panels. It's just that broken bit over there. Because people look at it and just say, mm, you broke that truck, didn't you? You want me. So hopefully, now I've asked the question with Toby, hopefully it'll, uh, it'll get repaired at some point. I'm off for 10 days in May, so you never know, it might get done then. After 800 Who knows? I'm on the left lane, don't I? So I am now going to be heading up the uh, the 20, heading up towards um, Dartford, and then uh, around the 25. I think I'm going up the 40. So I'm uh, heading into Wensbury this morning. Well, it'll be this afternoon once I get there. But I'm heading to Wensbury. Um, so. Let's see how this day goes, eh? All right, let's crack on. I'll speak to you when I'm up there. Toodles. Hello. Oh dear, someone's broken down by there. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, then sharp left. Okay, you join me. Ooh, about three and a half hours later. Three hours, 46. That's how long I've been driving for since I, uh, I left <coughs> um, Ashford. Made some good time. Uh, I think I said he was gonna get you for one o'clock. Let's take my belt off a second. Ooh. Get that out. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm now going to get there for 12.34 now. So, made up about 25, 26 minutes, something like that. Envelope. Just can't remember the name of the company I'm going to. So, get the paperwork out now. Well, it's the on red light. That's it, I got it. Okie dokie. Um, I tell you what, I got through the um, Dartford Tunnel, no delays, nothing. That's the quickest I think I've ever gone around the 25 and, and through the Dartford and then further on around the 25. No delays at all. Flew all the way around. It was great. Sharp left towards Business Park. Okay. So it's around this way. I'm literally four minutes away. Well, from the area anyway. Uh, around me left. We've got Littles down there. I go into the business park. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the third exit, Axel Tree Way. Right. Cross the roundabout and One take business the third
right, see if we can find it, shall we? Another roundabout straight over. Just open the old tippet now, because uh, I should have been here at Arctic 10 o'clock this morning. Yards. The roundabout and take the second exit, Axel Way. Hopefully, they've let them know I'm going to be uh, a little bit late. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. the other side of the business pack. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, B4200, Park Lane. Half a mile away from the postcode. Right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Right on the next roundabout, which is the road I want, I think. Dee -dee 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 -dee. No, it's not. Must be off that road then. Stillman's Road, I'm looking for. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, A4038. Walsall Road. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. There it is. I got it. It's by there. Still can't get over how light the steering is on this. Slip in lovely. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, Steelman's Road, then you have reached your destination. Goods in down there. Hoping this is going to be a bay tip. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be a Pork truck on the back jobby. Or a pump truck. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a pump truck jobby. Oh joys. Oh, there we go, we're here. Found it okay. So see what happens with this now Let's see if I got to get up on the back with it which by the look of it I'm gonna have to which isn't gonna be fun because the pallets are about a ton of pa ton a piece but there we go oh. right let's go see him and I will speak to you in a bit toodles all right all done and I did have to get in the back <laughs> so I had a workout <laughs> Oh, those pallets are heavy. Blimey. The further up the trailer you get, the easier it gets, because obviously the trailer starts lifting with the air. <laughs> uh, so by the time you're, uh, you're on the last couple of pallets, they'll just freewheel down to the end then. But um, yeah, so I'm all done. Done and dusted. And the plan is now, I'm um, going up to Merthyr, uh, dropping the trailer, parking up, and I'll probably be running out with something then tomorrow. Not quite sure yet. I've asked what the plan is, but I don't know as of yet. Um, but this uh, is going to be the end of this video. I think this one's going to be a fairly long one. 
so thank you very much for watching guys I do appreciate it hope you've enjoyed what you've seen the roundabout and a trip from Belgium place. back to UK again um, don't forget if you are watching and you're not subscribed then why not contemplate pressing that subscribe button and uh, it's free of charge and then uh, you can press the old bell notification get notifications when my videos come out don't give the don't forget to uh, give the video a thumbs up it does help the algorithm and uh, make a comment if you like and uh, you'll know that I've read your comment because I always put a uh, heart on the comments to show you that I've read it. Um, and also don't forget to uh, have a look at uh, Ben's channel, The Breeze. Don't check his channel out. Uh, I think he's got a, um, an interesting trip coming up. Uh, I think he's going out today. But I'm not going to give it away. So if you want to see what it is, pop over to his channel, have a look. It's The Breeze. If you like what you see give him a sub and of course good old captain slow on facebook and follow his page he's been putting quite a bit up this week so uh, go and check his um, his page out on facebook or give him a follow and uh, i'm sure that will make his day so i've got a two hours and 20 minute run in front of me now to get to Merthyr. Um, cross the roundabout and take the second exit so i'll be stopping at Merthyr tonight and then uh, we see what we got the model. We're not sure yet. See, I've uh, I have asked what the plan is, but uh, as of yet, I've had no reply to it. But I'm sure I will find out soon enough. Um, but whatever it is, um, I'll probably record it, and that will probably be Wednesday's video. So this one should be out um, Saturday. I might even have time to edit it up tonight, get it up and running and get it uploaded and put it ready for Saturday night. And thank you to everyone that's watched last night's video. I went live last night, uh, all showing concern because I looked tired after the, uh, the overnight job. It's my own fault. Uh, I didn't get enough sleep during the day. Um, I'm learning my lesson there. I'm gonna have to see if I can get some more sleep when I'm, on, uh, when I'm doing night runs. Um, but you are you are all right. It's uh, it's not worth my health, so I'm gonna have to uh, start trying to get some more sleep before working nights. Easier said than done, but I will try. Um, and it's not too bad. It's not as if it's every single night. We we're even gonna check if I was gonna let you out. Then we go on, my lovely. You're welcome. Um, yeah, it's not as if I work nights all the time. It's normally just the beginning part of the week, uh, depending on what you're doing, whether it's a, a run just jobby or running down to Paris or, or, or whatever. Um, but I'm just going to have to, as I said, don't have nag, didn't he? Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to have to learn to get some more sleep before actually going out on a night run. So hands up on that one yeah totally agree with you all I need to look out for myself so thank you all for that much appreciated nice that uh, you show your concern um, so I'm just gonna get back up onto the M6 now head back down that way pick up the M5 and then crack on down I think I'm in the wrong lane. Should be over there, really. But I'll sort it out in a minute. All right then, guys. Again, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I um, don't think there's anything else. But again, thank you all for your concern with regards to uh, your working nights and whatever. It is appreciated. Um, yeah, I think that's about it from me. So, whatever you're doing, guys, be safe, be good, and I'll most definitely catch you in the next one. Right on the roundabout and Toodles. The third exit, M6 towards Birmingham.